fans welcome back to the youtube channel thank you so much for watching today's awesome vlog if you curious what i'm actually doing today i want to talk to all of you about my mini grease gun and some of the issues i'm having with it should i say it likes to leak a little bit of grease out of the bleeding screw itself i will have to show you what it actually looks like but i'm not going to take it apart because i already have grease in it should i say i already wasted two of my grease tubes i'm already on my third one should i say it's just trying to understand what the big issue is with this grease gun should i say and basically on why it's actual leaking but this is the hose okay and this is what attaches to the grease soaks on the fittings but let's go ahead and put this on the dresser and get more of a close-up shot of it and see what it looks like but it is a pretty nice tool to actually have should i say well, let's go and we're going to talk about the issues i do have with this tool itself it's going to be awesome biggest problem i'm having with my actual mini grease tool itself is the bleeding screw should i say it will like to leak out through the top of the screw remember this is a cast aluminum uh body heel and this is a steel uh container cylinder for you can actually put your uh tube of grease in and so is the screw itself but i'm not going to take this apart it's already under pressure and this is all primed up itself the biggest problem as you notice is trying to get this to be tightened over here this only goes here you can also put it here but you have to move the screw from over here to over here you kind of notice that's the reason why it has the two screws i don't recommend you taking apart your grease gun itself but this is the end of the actual uh, connector here for the grease suits. This is also very difficult to get on to the grease suit itself. But let's go ahead and show you what grease I'm actually using. I'm just using uh, red grease in this. And it does grease like it normally does, should I say. But you got to make sure you get all of the air out of the grease gun for you don't have any air pockets trapped in the grease itself this is my third tube in this uh grease gun itself should i say because i already wasted a couple of my tubes already only issue i am really having with the mini grease tool itself is basically the issue is the screw itself likes to leak should i say but if i was going to change grease all the time okay in this grease gun it has to be the exact same brand of grease to be used in this if i was going to change it out to a different type of grease itself i would have to clean out the pump and also the plunger, what's inside, or the little piston inside of the grease gun itself. You don't want to add any air to your grease gun itself because it will stop working. All it will be doing is pumping nothing but air through the actual tube itself and you won't get anything done. This is a tool I bought for the lawn tractor because the lawn tractor itself has like seven grease fittings on it two on the axle three on the spindles and actual one on top of the pivot point that's the reason why i need a mini grease tool should i say to able to do the maintenance in the care of the lawn tractor itself but it's too a pretty good tool except for a couple issues is i'm going to be changing out this fitting heel 
for a different one. This one is just horrible. It's hard to get on and hard to get off. And I'm trying to figure out if it's a way to fix the leak of this over here with some Teflon tape or some sort. But alright, if you guys enjoy those who are this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace out, y'all.